Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again. I am going to take another crack here at uh, Threat Gen Red versus Blue. Um, <clears throat> a couple things that changed uh, to make me come back. Well, nothing really changed, I guess. But I'm going to go and take a, another look at the Red Team side of things. Um, since the last part of Threat Gen Red versus Blue, uh, which focused heavily on the blue side because the red side just didn't seem that much fun. Um, it seemed pretty easy, um, really high level, and it didn't really explain any concepts or anything. It, it just it just didn't get much out of it. Um, not that it was, uh, you know, uh, a bad aspect of the game, but it struck me as the red team side, the fun of it, really coming from being an adversary to an actual real-life blue team person you're playing against. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I was fumbling around, um, just making educated guesses uh, on things, and uh, I was still able to pull a win on my first try. You know, it's sort of proof positive to, to how easy it is against the AI. Um, but since then, um, I got a link to an actual live Red vs. Blue, um, and I've actually been watching videos of previous um, uh, tournaments, not tournaments, uh, you know, uh, versus people versus people here. Uh, learned a couple things. Well, number one, uh, I get the distinct impression that I really missed the boat with Threat Gen Red versus Blue. It seems like a lot of people know about this and I had no idea it even existed. So there's that. Um, and the second thing is being able to watch streams of people playing against other people. Well, number one, it confirmed to me for the most part uh, that the red team side of things, the strength of it really does seem to be in uh, having someone to play against, but I also saw some people on the red team able to do things that I couldn't figure out how to accomplish <clears throat> when I played my red team game. So I want to go in for another look. I want to dig a little bit deeper on the, the red team abilities and learn some of the other mechanics um, and uh, just get a better sense for the game. Um, I toyed with the idea of maybe doing um, like reducing the number of attackers on my team to maybe even a single determined attacker. Um, but in order to get a good sense of sort of the, the default configuration here, the, the, the way the game is meant to be played, I'm going to leave it with the starting things as it is. Um, we did the manufacturing plant, the last red team we get. So let's do the pipeline company this time. Start game. <clears throat> Uh, and what I'm going to look to do, last time I could not figure out, I, I figured that in order to do a USB drop, you had to move in physically, but I could not figure out how to do that uh, last time. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to want to do. So let's start uh, physical recon, uh, OSINT recon, and let's create a USB right away. That's everybody we have, but... Uh, See if there's anything else I really want to try and get to. I'm guessing to plant a rogue device, you also have to move in physically, so I gotta figure that out. Um, okay. Physical recon done, OSINT done, and malicious USB created. Okay, so now, where's the, there's mode view. Location remote, I don't see any way to move in there. So is there something else we have to research? Change location. Yeah, see, this is what I saw last time. You hit change location, <clears throat> and the only option available to me is perimeter, and that's it. So cost three. I have enough people. I have enough turns. Oh. Oh, I see. You you first go to the perimeter, and then you can move in. So you have to you you have to actually just click that. Okay. It makes sense. I just missed it last time. I just didn't see that it was what I had to do. All right. Let's commit to. We'll scan and. What else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, network detection. 
Uh, I think it's a bit too early to invest in that, but maybe not. We are doing host scans. Yeah, see, this is the thing. The The blue team side, the, the whole skill tree thing. <clears throat> I did receive comments from... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I think people involved... Well, certainly developers, but uh, I think other people that were involved with its formation, creation, or evolution... Um, I can't remember who specifically mentioned it, but somebody mentioned something about how the, the skill trees are under revision and they, they're kind of something that just sort of ended up uh, happening over numerous revisions of the game. Um, the blue team side, the investments, um, even if they don't make direct sense, um, they at least make some kind of sense, like in some fashion. Red team side really doesn't. And there's only one real deep tree here. And that's the uh, OSINT to port scan enumeration and reverse engineering password tag. All this, that's the only real, all the rest of this is very shallow. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm running out of time here. All right. So we've got one person. I guess we might as well. We could do we could do some research or something like that. <clears throat> the one thing I gotta say from watching streams uh, is, uh, well, I learned that there's people who are very good at this game. Um, number one, and it did confirm for me that this is a good game. Like as far as a learning tool and everything, like it's definitely a good game. It's a good learning tool, but it's a good game too. Um, all right, five of five. All right. Um, so, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Um, I forgot. Doesn't matter. Port scan, port scan, port scan. And do we now have, we have the people. Um, yes, yes, we can do a drop here on the perimeter. So let's do, let's see what, let's see what happens. I want to, I want to see. And, uh, are we close enough? Yes, we are close enough. We can do a Wi-Fi scan. You have been kicked out. Damn. You're back at your remote location. All right. So when you get kicked out, you go back to remote and you have to reinvest in moving back in. Okay. Still have the USB though. So we can still move back. Zervis enumeration, Zervis enumeration. So I apologize if I'm a little hoarse. It is the first day of our academic year. So I've already been talking. I've already been talking for two hours. I'm already super tired of the sound of my own voice. And I'm already hoarse. And I still have another two hours to teach in a little bit. So just doing this between classes. All right. First service enumeration complete. All right. Uh, so can we try that? Did that... Uh, where's my... Uh, Wi-Fi scan failed, malicious USB drop, go to perimeter, succeeded, so let's try, uh, that again, and let's try that again, Jeff80, Gary, oops, this is service enumeration, um, what exactly does this... In terms of in terms of game mechanics, <clears throat> obviously it doesn't help us with physical intrusion. But <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. well, I would really like to invest in, in a what's email phishing. Social media, watering hole. Uh, the watering hole never seemed particularly um, useful in terms of uh, resource usage in the game. But I think we should probably kick that up next time. Let's invest in a finding public vulnerabilities. And let's invest in... Uh, 
Maybe it's time to do some... Oh, I can't do research. That requires at least two people for some reason. So. Let's just do... Oh, that requires two. Oh, we already did that one. Okay. Uh, well, I kind of want to push it. I kind of want to see what happens, so. <clears throat> I did also get comments that there is some revisions to the red team side, which may include, um, I've been kicked out again. Maybe we need to move a little bit deeper before we do a USB drop or a Wi-Fi scan for that matter. So let's do that. Uh, physical attack. Change locations. There it is. Move in. All right. We found some vulnerabilities. Cross site scripting. I think it's time to do some research. Let's research XSS. And then maybe we'll start a campaign. Main firewall. <clears throat> All right, I also heard that there was something with attacks. Um, that this, the icon says DDoS. Um, attack, it doesn't have to expose. And see, so here's part of the problem, too, is I'm sure that all of these concepts are readily apparent, but I only have three minutes, and this is a lot to read. So it's like the more time I spend reading the less time I have, and time is really <laughs> the main resource to manage in this game, uh, especially for the red team. Uh, it says cyber attacks can range from installing. Yeah, so it's not just a DDoS. It could be a lot of different things. Um, that requires an investment of all five people. Though. And let's instead put, let's try a password attack. That's before. Okay, research completed. Yeah, hey, there we go. Um, see, what does the icon mean? Asset has one or more research vulnerability. Okay, so that's why that changed because we researched XSS. So I guess it's just generic, just attack to take advantage of that then. Okay. Makes sense. I actually didn't do this the last time I played it because I didn't understand it. I thought it was just a DDoS attack. Um, so no, I see that I see that you get uh, a lot of different options. You can choose the vector and objective. That's pretty neat. Let's do manipulation. Heavy investment though. Now I can see why why having you start out with five. Why well, you start out with five attackers. Oh, but the password attack failed. That's too bad. Where are we? Uh, we're on the perimeter. So I'm going to, next time, I'm going to move in and see if we can do that USB drop. Okay, that failed. That's too bad. Um, no, I want to change location, corporate office plant, um, plant, physical, social engineering, same investment. Um, so the question is then, I guess at this point, do they have electronic locks or not? Probably not. So let's do a physical intrusion. Okay, and we only have two people. Um, let's put them on a, so let's just do the watering hole. Give that a couple of rounds. <clears throat> We're in. Ninja-like, you've successfully entered the plant using physical intrusion techniques, but hurry before you are caught. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Drop USB. Uh, yep, 
and let's do boy that's a tough choice physical recon so um second impressions here on oh that was that was so worth it oh my god uh how did the usb drop fail though how does that fail drop that shit man all right so uh yeah we got to get out of here though um no pivot established no pivot established no pivot okay uh what else can we do while we're here oh we could uh we could do that now since that was successful and uh sure that's just a one-turn investment so okay second impressions uh number one um i can see now now that i understand how attacks and intrusions physical intrusions work and so on now the strategy level of the red team side has revealed itself before it just seemed like you're just kind of picking things um and again i did manage to get a w on my first try just stumbling around in the dark so i do think that the red team side is too easy and i think that the fact that it's too easy uh actually undermines what the game is actually offering on the red team side because there's no incentive to learn more if you kind of don't have to to win at least against the ai that's my only experience that's all i can speak to um so it kind of undermines that um I, c I can see how the game is trying to be balanced by having some of the more um the greater return on the investment or the, i should say the greater return requiring a higher investment in people i still think that there there needs to be another resource to manage on the red team side in order to balance this out because people alone um everything takes roughly the same amount of time i don't have to worry about money i don't have to worry about I just, you know and the two temporary assets i have of the of the usb and the network evasion detection uh network detection evasion rather um are they're still here so a shorter timer on these temporary resources would be good like if you drop it and fail maybe you lose the usb you know or something HMI found. Human machine interface hacking is needed if you can get direct access. Oh, access cut off. Oh, I still have that. Okay. Uh, I think let's end the campaign. I don't know why it takes one person to end a campaign when there's two people working on the campaign and we could just, you know, whatever. But all right. Um, was the USB drop successful though? it failed and it's gone okay so it did disappear it just took a good long time to do it um all right let's move our location oh shit i didn't want to end i wanted to move all right let's change location let's move back to remote okay let's um do password attack since it failed last time and create oh that takes two people okay well then just do that <clears throat> Invest in another attack now that we got everybody back. Oh, but did the create US malicious USB fail? That keeps failing too. It and it doesn't say why, so I have no idea. Um, maybe we need to do more research. Is that what determines it? Oh, I didn't create the malicious USB because it required two people. Let's do that now and let's do let's i guess let's try a different machine i got i gotta get a foothold here oh and i lost access to it 
I gotta get a foothold here. I'm I'm not making a lot of progress. Yeah, I'm not making nearly enough progress here. We gotta we gotta get something going. Oh, Jeff AD's back online. It's odd. Password attack failed. Okay. Alright, USB is done though, so now we can change location. Uh, to the perimeter, do that, and is there anything else useful we can do? I don't want to do a watering hole. Oh yeah, we got two people we can do some more research. Let's uh, put some more research into XSS, maybe we can compromise uh, Gary27 over there. Since we already have an investment in that, <clears throat> let's see about that. Okay. Major succeeded. Uh, change locations. Let's try... Should we do the plant again? Let's go to the corp corporate office. Electronic. Uh, let's try social engineering. Oh, that, yeah. Yep. Social engineering. Investment of three. You've been kicked out. They found us. Okay. What else useful could we do? Oh, some more research. Yeah, that sounds good. Hold on. We already invested in cross-site scripting and we lost that one. So, um... Let's do access control. From what I saw on the blue team side, that's pretty common. Okay, where are we now? Perimeter. Let's try changing location again. Let's do corporate office. This time let's do a physical intrusion instead of social engineering. Oh, what's this? Uh, we've been kicked out again. What's that icon? I said it has one or more advanced research. Okay, so that's our cross-site scripting attack then. Let's do another attack then. Cross-site scripting and... Yeah, let's just do manipulation again, I guess. Failed. I don't understand. Let's try a denial attack. I, I don't understand what goes into success or failure. We have we have this research, and I don't understand what we need to do to get it to work. Successful attack. It's official. You are now a hacker. You have gone through the entire cyber kill chain and completed your first successful attack. Okay, so uh, then that means it's compromised. There's nothing else we can do with it, though. Okay. Uh, incorrect access control is research, so let's do an attack on this one then, using incorrect access control. I guess, no, I guess let's try it. It's a, it's a big investment of all five people, but I mean, this is the greatest progress we have made thus far. Failed. Okay. Hmm, righty then. Incorrect access control. Let's try it on the main firewall. Oh, the blue team damaged their own process. Not the kind of win you want, but it's a win nonetheless. And again, two red team games, two Ws. The first time, completely grew up in around the dark. Had no idea what I was doing. This time, I really focused on trying to do things I didn't do before. And honestly, I didn't really feel as effective as I was the first time um, investing in those things anyway. Um, but ultimately, because the deck is stacked against the blue team, I get a win nonetheless, even though I didn't really feel like I really performed that well. So, um, like I said, that's true to life. That's how it is, man, uh, in the real world. The deck is stacked against the blue team, no question about it. Um, it's just that in terms of the game, 
makes the red team kind of easy, right? All things considered. Um, at least, again, at least against the AI. If I, if I was playing with a determined blue team person, a real person, it'd be a whole different story. All of the streams that I've seen against the two actual people have always looked like a blast. <clears throat> and the reason for that, <clears throat> excuse me, and the reason for that uh, is because both sides understand not only the underlying principles of the game, but also the game itself. They're able to gamify the process. And so they're able to do things that are unexpected or even nonsensical under the circumstances and, you know, play a game. Now let's see what happened. Total issues down, breached two, detected two of two. Um, I launched 10 attacks. One was successful. I don't know what goes into the percentage of success on those those things, but whatever it is, I clearly don't understand the mechanic that, that goes into making them work. Because I tried nine manipulation attacks, they all failed. The only one that succeeded was the one denial attack. And then that asset was off to me. It was it was unavailable to me. I couldn't use it as a pivot. I couldn't uh, use it for any further scanning or resource gathering or, or anything. It was just done after that. That's just it. Um... Physical intrusion, one of three was successful. Nobody was ever arrested, though, so that's something I haven't seen yet is arresting. Uh, social engineering, I tried five times. I failed every single time. Like I said, I did not fe seem like a, I did not feel like I was very effective at all in that. I, I was definitely not focusing on things that would make me more effective, but that's the feeling I got from trying those mechanics, the attack and the uh, USB drop mechanic, the physical intrusion mechanic I didn't try last time. Uh, meanwhile, Jesus, this was their game to lose and they sure did. Um, total vulnerabilities, 140 discovered 67 remediated one total budget, 130,000. And they spent every damn dime of it. <laughs> they requested a budget three times. They were successful twice, which is a ratio of success. I have never been even near approaching in my blue team runs so even when the ai is on easy mode it was still difficult for them to to win and they and they still lost so and they were up to 13 on threat intel too they were not sitting on their laurels let's see what we got uh hey, look at that gary that's no wonder i couldn't do anything with gary 27 or jeff 80 those were fucking external machines um where's main firewall yep that's their perimeter that's their perimeter so yeah and look at look at me i had freaking nothing on them i would have lost that uh what ended up happening in the end is yep they probably no they even had their vendor certification status and they still they still lost it Well, I guess it just goes to show. Um, so a uh, second look at the red team side here of threat red and red versus blue. Uh, I can see uh, there are some mechanics I missed last time that definitely add to the game. It definitely puts some, um, some strategic layers to the red team side. Um, but that said, it didn't really seem necessary. I mean, it's a good addition to the game. My point is when I say it doesn't even seem necessary is I was able to win both times I played um, by not doing very much or just kind of doing random things. Um, the red team side is just not that much of a challenge in this incarnation. Maybe I should try another one <clears throat> with a reduced number of attackers, but then I wouldn't be able to invest in let's, let's try it. Shit. It, it's only been a half an hour. Let's try it. So let's, uh, let's configure this hacker resources, uh, action points. I'm going to reduce this to three from five. So now the blue team and the red team are going to start out with the same number of personnel. I still won't have to worry about money or anything, but unless I recruit hackers, I won't be able to do an attack um, or several other things that required a pretty hefty personnel investment. So let's do this again. Uh, let's do large oil and gas company and let's see how we do. Mm. All right. So, yep. Thank you. Start with uh, recon as we did before. Wait, how come I have... Hold on a sec. I started out with five people. Um, what's going on here? Three. Enter. 
No. Three. It won't let me do three. Three. Okay, you can't do less than five. Okay, you can do more than five. You can't do less than five. Five is the minimum. Can I do one here? <laughs> so you can start out with just one blue teamer. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we can't do what I wanted to do anyway. Um. That's too bad. Can I do four? No, nope. five is the minimum. Probably because you need five to do an attack. Okay, then let's do it, but I will not, I, w I just won't use all of my people. How about that? All right, so we're going to do Ocent Recon. We're going to do Physical Recon. Uh, and that's three. Need another turn. Okay. We'll scan. Uh, and I got. Can't use the three people, so we're going to have to just do a watering hole campaign, or we could wait for a social media campaign. Start with a watering hole. Let's invest in that for at least a little while. Okay. Uh, let's go. This lasted us almost the entire game last time, so let's invest in that and let that watering hole go one more turn and then we'll end the campaign. All right, let's end the campaign and end our turn. Okay, now we got three people that start doing some scanning. I'm only using three people. I hope I manage to keep my eye on that and not overcommit. All right. Network device, eh? Service enumeration. Service enumeration. Service enumeration. Gateway. Whatever that was before is gone, so... Steph 91 sounds like another uh, remote machine. <clears throat> Kathy 96, that was the one from before. Okay. All right. Um, let's, uh, where's the, where's the public? There it is. Okay. Um, and then let's use the other two to create a malicious USB. And then we'll see about moving in, moving in and dropping. All right, an integer overflow, XSS, direct access control, integer overflow, XSS, file inclusion. Looks like integer overflow is the way to be. Um, Oh, but I only have one person to commit. So we won't be able to do that. What else can I do? How many people does it take to actually change location? Three. Okay, so we're going to have to wait. All right, USB created. Now I'm going to change location to the perimeter. Go and do that and turn. Okay. Um, let's try the drop here. And let's 
Let's do some research in integer overflows, since that seems to be common. Malicious USB drop failed. I'm not sure if moving in is really necessary or advised. I, I haven't done this successfully once. So I guess let's just try it again while we're waiting for research to finish up anyway. And if it fails, then it looks like it did. Okay. Now that we have everybody back, I guess let's try moving in closer and see if that works. Uh, corporate office. Let's sure physical. Sure. Failed. Okay. Failed, but were we detected? No, we weren't. Okay, well then do it again. Do it again. And failed again. Okay. This time, social engineering. Successful. Okay, cool. Kill, kill. Uh, malicious USB drop and... Hmm. Clone RFID badge is very tempting. Let's do recon first, and then we'll plant a rogue device, and then if we're still in after that, we'll clone a badge. <gasps> arrested! It finally happened. You have been caught trying to break into the target location. You have been arrested. Okay. So... So what does that mean? Currently in jail. Does that mean I can't do anything? Oh, apparently I can still do things. I, oops. What was that? No, I didn't want to recruit hackers. I wanted to see... It doesn't give me really any information on what this means. Um, I can still apparently do things. But my pe all the three people I had, they won't come back until we're out of jail. Is that it? Apparently. That's that's my guess, anyway. Do I just have to wait until we're done? Until we're free? It does, it's not telling me. It didn't tell me anything, so I don't know. Um, or do I have to <laughs> post bail? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. <laughs> Change location from jail to perimeter. <laughs> I still technically have two hackers that could be acting with, but I'm trying to use only three. Okay, we're out of jail. <clears throat> okay, uh, malicious USB is gone. Obviously, our location is remote again. Okay. All right. Um... I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. We're, we'll, we're not going to commit all five. Uh, we could try a password attack and commit all three to that. Let's let's just do that for now. Give me a second here to think about what I want to do. Did that fail? Yes, of course it did. All right. Two for create malicious USB. Let's just... Ah, uh, sure, just do that. Whatever. Okay. 
there's no point in doing research because um, we, we're not going to use enough people to do an attack anyway. Uh, changing location requires two people. Here, just do that. Just do this. DMZ VPN. Change the location. Change location. Um, plant physical. You have been kicked out. No. Change location. Perimeter. Kicked out again. All right. They upped their physical security after we got caught. Um, all right. Using only three attackers. Pretty limited here, which is obviously by design. Obviously, it's by design. They're patching. Failed. Failed. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. The, I, I think the USB route's closed to us anyway at this point. Uh, they definitely have physical security on site. So, I mean, I guess we could create one and try dropping it at the perimeter and hope we get lucky with that. That's possible. Is there a research into? Improving the odds of password attacks. Or is it just, hold on, I'm not going to actually use all five here. I just want to see. Mm, okay, maybe it is worth um, specking into that then. Yeah.
Um, oh, you can only do research into that one time. Default credentials. two turns to do that. Okay. Increases your skill level uh, and the likelihood of successful attack using it. You can perform research on a particular number of but the returns on increasing your skill level for this vulnerability lessen each time you research it. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Oh, physical security is in the list. Oh, research weak passwords. That's the one I was looking for before. That should increase password attacks. Do it again, do it again. Now, so I, there was more. The first time I played Red Team, there seemed to be more. Um, I mean, we don't have a foothold, so I'm not expecting too much, but I thought that there was more to this that I'm not seeing. Yeah, okay, I see it now. Yeah, they're situational. Like the uh, options you have here, situational, depending on the red team's current posture, which is nice. I mean, that actually makes sense. It's nice. All right, let's try this again. Password attack, invest in that. I know, whatever we're doing, it's still not enough, apparently. Still not enough, I guess. Just putting them on something, giving them something to do. It's my skill level at. I research default credentials, but I don't know how to make use of them. Just yet, I guess. Yeah, they all keep failing. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to max it out. I guess I could try that. Seeing, you know, how we do, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's... Okay, I guess let's max it out. New passwords. And, um, here, to go do that. Uh, okay, am I maxed now? No, not quite. Um... I'm running out of time. I guess we'll give it one more one more research. And uh whatever. Save it. I don't know. I don't know what I can do to make improve the chance of success of these attacks. It seems like I'm doing I mean, it's not full, but um 
So let's go to your persistence. I don't know. It seems like I'm doing what I what I need to do to improve my odds. Uh, and still. And still, still failing. I don't know what to do. They are patching, though. We can see that. Still, I don't, and the default creds isn't doing me any good. It's just not. Because I th maybe, I mean, we are turn 56. The blue team, you know, may have matured to the point where they're already taking care of that. But, uh, I mean, I could not impose this limitation on myself and use all five of my people. That would certainly improve things, but uh, I've gone this far. Might as well keep doing it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's max it out. I guess. I'm not sure that getting to 100% is necessarily even possible because it looks like each time we're only getting 50% of the available space that's left or something like that. So, uh, do it again. All right, let's try it again. Still failing. I mean, I wouldn't expect this to necessarily succeed if the blue team has done something on their side to prevent it. I'm not saying that just because you max out a skill means that it should work every time. But, um, you know, this is something I have yet to get. I think this might have, I've gotten this to work one time, I think the first red team game I played. Um, so what I'm, what I'm saying is, is that what goes into success or failure within the context of the game, uh, is not apparent to me. Okay, well, this is, we're spinning our wheels here. Um, let's see. Um, well, let's create a malicious USB and see if we can get lucky with a drop. Uh, yep, they are. Yep, they're cleaning up their environment. This is, this is what happens, you know, if you don't, get a foothold early and maintain it uh, is you're at a major disadvantage after the, but you, the red team is at a major advantage for the first half of the game. The blue team gets the advantage if the red team doesn't or maintain a foothold at that second half. The game changes considerably around, around turn 25, which is also something that another commenter on steam had noticed as well uh, is at first the blue team is scrambling around just to get something put up and then uh, it becomes maintenance you know you operationalize and uh and all that um and it really it does become kind of a completely different game at that point too which is you know why i made that suggestion of um you know let's have the red team be more interactive and give the blue team a couple minutes head start to get set up give them a budget give them a couple of people give them a couple of minutes and um let them get set up and then have the game take off from there uh, on a more real time instead of turn-based basis i think that would be a cool game mode or something all right so let's try moving in then and then we'll we'll drop a usb and see if we get lucky not taking advantage of attacks because i'm only trying to use three people is definitely putting me at a crazy disadvantage so i'm not surprised i'm not doing too well here oh we can clone an rfid badge from here fine then don't mind if i do
Hey, we got lucky with the drop. We did get uh, spit out, but we also got a foothold. Okay. Let's do post scan, harvest creds. It's too late for us to win, but by God, let's do some damage before we're done. Ooh, I like to look at that. I like to look at that a lot. Um, port scan, port scan. Um, let's hold off on the disruptive malware. Let's just do another port scan. And hope that they do not kick us out. Windows server, Windows server. Let's do another, since we have it. I thought we had it. Okay. Never mind. Apparently we can't. Um, okay. Uh, let's service enumeration, service enumeration, service enumeration. There's no way we can win this. We've got we've got only a couple of rounds left. They're gonna they're gonna get the weather the storm for sure. Whoa. I don't want to commit all three of my people. <laughs> okay, let's let's do it. Maybe we'll get lucky. I've been investing in password attacks this whole time. Maybe we'll get insanely lucky right at the end. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, this is going to be it. Um, yeah, this is going to be it. Um, let's exfiltrate. And uh, mm, that's going to, yeah, that's going to be it. They're going to get there, weathered the storm. Uh, exfiltrate failed. Okay, well, then do it. And, uh, well, whatever. This is the last turn we'll use all of our people just to do another scan, another attack. Weathered the storm, as I expected. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Let's do a breakdown. So they did a weather the storm, which means that even with me only using three attackers, which means I was unable to do attacks, means I was unable to do uh, a couple of the other abilities that required five people. So I was unable to do any of those things. I was able to only really do the one. Um, no, sorry. There's a two social engineering campaigns that require three or fewer people. Um, I was, uh, and I tried doing some physical infiltration and I, I didn't do anything really effective for like the first 60 rounds of that game with three people. Uh, I wasn't able to get lucky with, uh, with either of the, my intrusion attempts, any of my intrusion attempts for like three quarters of the game. I just simply wasn't able to. Um, and even with that, the blue team still wasn't able to do uh, an active win. It was a passive win where they weathered the storm and they spent $400,000 doing it. Right. So on my side, I tried to attack 25 times. All right. I failed every single time. And those were all, uh, password attacks because that's all I could invest with three people. And it required all three people to do it. So for 25 rounds, I committed all three of my people to doing that attack. Right. That's a third of the game. I did nothing. A third of the game. Uh, physical intrusion. Four times arrested once. And that was, was that a three round timeout? Although technically speaking, it was only a timeout because all of my people were committed at the time. So I still technically had two people that I could have used. Social engineering attacks. Um, 
I tried five USB drops and one watering hole campaign. They all failed except for one. Um, and that's where I finally got a foothold at like turn 60 or something like that. Um, yeah, I, had, I gained one pivot and I didn't even use it. My resource utilization was terrible. 57%. And despite that, if we go to the blue team side, um, they weren't able to detect or resolve the one pivot that I, uh, the foothold I was able to gain. Um, remediation time, 21 turns. They had a budget of $450,000. They requested budgets 10 times and they received a budget every single time, every single time I did nothing. And they had tons of money that explains how they were able to start patching and everything so early. Um, and their threat Intel still sucked. So this wasn't a red team W, but let's face it for the blue team. This is a Pyrrhic victory. I, I invested no resources. I was ineffective a third of the game or more, probably actually half the game was me wasted just doing nothing. And I wasn't able to, to in the end win, but this is a Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> this only again illustrates the asymmetry here between the red and the blue side, which again is not unlike the real world at all, but for a game, <laughs> it's kind of not fair. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What we and th this was the biggest of the scenarios. So they had the most assets and, and all that as well. So let's see how it looked. Um, and even, even in the end, after I got my foothold, finally, despite investing in skills for the majority of the game and practically maxing out weak passwords, um, I still wasn't able to get a foothold until the end. And even though I didn't get a foothold until like round 70, um, I still came pretty close because they had their program up. They had $450,000 to spend. And I still got a foothold and I was still starting to move into sensitive assets. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I would have won because they might've kicked me out, but if I had another five rounds and I got lucky with any of the password attacks that I had invested research in, I could have won there towards the end. Like I, I was, I was making progress there finally. Yeah. Look, they're doing their, yeah, they were updating. They were doing backups. They were doing patches like crazy. Huh. All right. So my second look at red uh, versus blue threat gen, red versus blue. Uh, I The red side does have a lot more um, to it than I initially thought, but in the end, it doesn't really change much as far as my opinion goes. Um, I still don't think it's as much fun. And uh, um, I appreciate now that there's some strategy element to it between two live players. It is a thing of beauty. Uh, awesome to behold. Um, and I would absolutely put this in a classroom with two students playing each other, I would put it in, I would put this in in front of a, a classroom in two scenarios. Number one, uh, as a learning tool where everyone plays blue team against a red team AI, because that is a learning, that's a valuable learning experience or two, two students playing, um, on opposing sides. Both of those scenarios would be just fine. Um, for what I might use this for would be something like a, an enterprise security or a risk management class or something like that. It would be the blue team side. That's really where I see the value in this being for now. But if, uh, if what's promised for the red team side comes to fruition, I could see it being really even more valuable than it is right now. I could see it going from basically being a blue team foil or an antagonist to like maybe a really high level. Like these are things that red teams can do to get around certain things, I guess. Um, being more interactive, uh, or, or having some kind of sim in the background, uh, would be, would be valuable as well. All right. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one.